Don't be cleaning it. You know the rules. <laughs> yeah. I've gotten in trouble. That's right. <laughs> I just want to say a huge thank you to uh, Farm Truck and Asian. The opportunity they gave me to race them is this next level, and the results that are coming from that and the, the gratitude is amazing. And I really do appreciate it. Well, you're you're welcome, man. Yep. Hey, really, we, really do appreciate we know it. good people, you know, outside of the uh, racing. We, we know uh, what we're looking at when we see a good human being. Thank you, really appreciate it. I hope right. you guys enjoyed racing me too. Yeah, well, we dude. really did, man. It was door to door all the way down. We both left on the rear wheels. Mm. Uh, the fans loved it. Um, and you run around to helping all the street outlaws. <laughs> He's over in our pit now helping us, making sure we got everything that we need. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's just the creed of all racers, and especially the Australians. They go out of their way to help each other, and uh, it, it's been an amazing but also, you're a damn good driver because when we raced, I thought you had left a little, but you didn't. But you didn't. You, I, I rewound it. I was like, he was right. That's he a was right. crack of but, a time. It, it's a no. Oh, yeah. It's a no. You, you were quick. Right is right. You were so. quick. I'm, I'm covered a bit of flack about that. Say, what happened to the hit? No, um, you had the hit. What happened to the hit? <laughs> no, dude, you used it. You I did. used the hit. You yeah. used the hit. The yeah. truck your went, advantage. Uh, uh, it was just <laughs> enough. It's enough. Uh, so. And, and explaining to these guys what was going on because the controller died and I had to press all different buttons and try to get the thing can't was trying to stall. It was yeah. amazing. I was actually able to react so quick when I had so much going on. But I think it was uh, part good driver and a lot of good luck. Cool. cool. A lot cool. of good luck. And yeah. your team, I'm sure there was stuff behind the scenes that we didn't see. team have been amazing. Yeah. So we, we, we did a little bit of homework on the farm truck. Um, good. Before and realized that we were too slow. Okay. So literally in about... 15 days, we, we transformed that car and, and nice. not to talk times, but I'd say we probably took a, a good solid half a second or more. Really? That's time. a lot. Yeah, yeah. that's a lot. Yeah, so, okay. So I knew I had to reinvent the wheel a little bit, but in that shorter time, I couldn't change engine, I couldn't change gearbox, so it was literally just converter, nitrous, Whoa. and tuning. Well, that's yeah. a lot too. Yeah, so we were able to make it happen and, and uh, yeah, try to get pretty close to where we needed to be. Okay. So, yeah, thank you very much. I appreciate really all your kind it. words about the truck. You thank recognizing you. what it is. It is a full frame. Yes, that's. I want to mention that as well. Everyone thinks this is a true chassis, but this is as real and steel as it comes. It is heavy. It, it's all still there, and it's a uh, it's five thousand pound monster. Yeah. And they they hot lap this thing nine times in a row. <laughs> nine oh yeah. Times in a row. It's streetable. Uh, we hot lap it, and um, and uh, it it was an honor to get to race you. Yeah, true. So, yeah, thank you. That's right. Yeah. I gotta bust it up. Oh man. yeah, sorry thank about that. Yeah. Hey, follow this guy. He's going places. This whole team. Thank That's you right. very much. Seeing the farm truck roll out for the very last time in Australia, the atmosphere was unbelievable. This truck represents so much. It's not just drag racing. It's the people behind it. It's the people who get a smile every time they see that farm truck. The fans. They love the thing. And look around, all the street outlaws, they've seen this thing a thousand times, but they still stand and watch with awe as that truck gets ready to go down the track. The guys that run the truck are absolutely amazing. And trust me, you haven't seen the last of this friendship with Motofab and the farm truck and Asian crew. And to see that on the last pass, they ran one Aussie flag and one American flag almost brings a tear to the eye. These guys are really about the camaraderie and the friendships that get involved with this sport. And it's been a real eye-opener to me. I've learned so much from these guys and it's really made drag racing fun and enjoyable. It's what we do, it's what we love. Here we are, Disco Dean. In the flesh. In the flesh, his stinky pinky Chevelle. Yep. And uh, tell us about the weekend, Dean. I had a little help from this guy over here. We were going over the data. I'm stiff for that. I have like hardly any time to go over my data and I like, I, I'm concentrating on doing everything myself. That's what I try to do. But I gave this guy the keyboard for a little bit and he did his little bit of magic. We picked up a bunch down low, picked up another mile an hour out the back. So I got to give this guy tons of thanks for this weekend. I took a few risks that you weren't too happy yeah, with. Yeah, <laughs> I, I just said, hey, if it don't go, it's this guy's fault. And if it does go, it's this guy's fault. <laughs> no, thanks, Ed. I really no, I appreciate I, all the help. Thank I appreciate you. the Thank opportunity, you. mate. It's been awesome. You got it. And uh, this is a different way to race, and this, I love it. It's totally different. I'm hooked. It? I'm hooked. Yeah, wait till we go to this next one. Thanks, brother. You got it. <laughs> Stinky Pinky, and we out. See you, mate.
It all really started right here in this amazing moment captured by Dave Reed at Drag Photos. Uh, the guys were sort of struggling and I was just killing time, so I decided to jump in and help. They had a couple of Aussie guys on the crew that I knew, Robbie Abbott, Craig Banks. And um, it was really fun. It was a good, good bunch of people to be around. And from there on, I got dragged into doing the whole rest of the tour. Here's all the runs from Perth. As you can see, the guys are on a bit of a struggle streak. Oh, 
Ja. What are you doing, Luke? I am making four link adjustments to Stinky Pinky, Dean Kahn's car. Thoughts on me, because this is normally... There's no air pressure anywhere right now, right? No, none. I gotta put my fingers between the springs. I can't turn on it. Yeah, man. About to do first start up. Bingy bingy, Disco Dean, since we've gotten to Sydney, we've been working on the car for two days and all suspension and uh, transmission stuff. Now we're about to fire it up, it's been nothing, no hassles out whatsoever with the engine. So.
Doing this guy, Dane? We're gonna do exactly what you wanted to do. <laughs> Put a little more timing in early, take a little out before a second, and then let it ride. So, if anything happens here, whether it holds the fucking mail or it falls on its face and knocks the tire off, guess whose fault it is? Did, did we do what I said before and we got a PB for Australia? Yeah. yeah okay. We did good. So, if, did I, good. if I win one and lose one, how will I be going? That would be horrible right now. <laughs> I'd much rather have you do it on a five hundred dollar race. <laughs> so uh, I'll, you got to sign off on it, big fella. I got it's signed off. It's already in the car. And, it's already in the car and data log. We're ready. I'll take responsibility if it goes down, but if it spins, <laughs> you're taking responsibility. Both ways. Right, right. Going. right, we'll let you know it goes over and out. Dane, what happened with my tune? I think your tune-up went perfect. Yeah. It can't get any better than that. We picked up a couple hundreds. It drove great off the starting line. You guys need any tuning advice from the zero to one second? This guy <laughs> might be able to help you out. I don't know about down there, but down here he's hey, good. how much did you win? Uh, five grand on five that pass. Grand. You're the man. You're the man. Thanks, Dane. It's been a pleasure helping you, mate. Okay, yeah. Here we are, Disco Dean. In the flesh. In the flesh. He's stinky pinky Chevelle. Yep. And uh, tell us about the weekend, Dean. I had a little help from this guy over here. We were going over the data. 
I'm stiff for dad. I have like hardly any time to go over my daddy. And I like, I, I'm concentrating on doing everything myself. That's what I try to do. But I gave this guy the keyboard for a little bit. And he did his little bit of magic. We picked up a bunch down low, picked up another mile an hour out the back. So I got to give this guy tons of thanks for this weekend. I took a few risks that you weren't too happy yeah, with. Yeah, I, I just said, hey, if it don't go, it's this guy's fault. And if it does go, it's this guy's fault. <laughs> no, thanks, Dan. I really no, I appreciate okay. all the help. Thank I appreciate you. the Thank opportunity, you. mate. It's been awesome. You got it. And uh, this is a different way to race. And this, I love it. It's totally different. I'm hooked. It? I'm hooked. Yeah, wait till we go to this next one. Thanks, brother. You got it. <laughs> Stinky Pinky, and we out. See you, mate. Twist your wrist. Don't do that. Straighten your wrist up. You're going to go. Let's go right. You're going to go. Let's go. No, 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 no. Straighten your arm up. Straighten up. Straighten your wrist up. You ain't going to do that to me now. Don't do that. 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 Don't you put, here's what you're doing. You're going down, you're wrapping my whole thumb. You can't yeah, do that. Obviously, I can't do that. Don't put it in the middle. 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 Don't put it in no, no, hold on, man. Look at that. <laughs> She's already rolled in there. Come on, we got to hold her straight. Come on. Hey, hold her up straight. Oh, hold yeah, that would be better than higher. Hey, that's much better. Uh, hold her up straight. What are you doing to me? You guys want to go to a higher yeah, table? Start out straight, then you go whatever you want. Pull that fucking hand back. Look. Hold on, hold on. You should go to the higher table. Ready? You got, you got him, you got me right. Straight. Ready? Hold on. Ready? Go. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> uh, we're going to have to tie you guys off. Oh, <laughs>
be dismally disappointed. Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck is this? So there you go. There's there's truck prep. Uh, there's no cones out yet. No starting equipment. Oh no, here comes the cones. Oh. Yeah. No worries. Did you go to the theme park? Luna Park? No. Can't go anywhere. Give it a try. theme park here in Australia. Yeah, I've got the old Australia. You go into the mouth, you can see the Australia. You know what it's spelled, Bucket? Hey, we've got the whole team. Nelly, where's Jesse? Where is. Where the fuck's Jesse? Where is Jesse? So our crew chief is gone. MIA. Um, so tell us where we're at, Dean. What's happened so far this weekend? We're at Calder Park in Melbourne. And uh, right now we're 1 0 against Kai. Uh, I don't know the guy's last name. He's got a red. V, I think. What is that? A red Toronto? Uh, no, that's it's a, a Commodore. VC Commodore. Commodore. VC yeah. Commodore. We're 1 0. And he wanted to run it back here, second round. So we're going to run it back, second round. I, I'm not positive if I have to give him the hit. I may have to give him the hit on this run. No, uh, we'll not. find that out up there. So rather than play it safe and ran a tune that went down pretty good before we've gone and we've <coughs> shot to the fence, is that what Yeah, well... The moon, more yeah, so. Yeah, I mean, you're getting a little greedy here. Yeah, a so are you. Greedy. That wasn't just me this <laughs> time. <laughs> we'll see. So it needs you. a kick in the ass off the starting line pretty bad. So, so. the last pass was a bit wild. Uh, you yes. He had to try a little harder than usual to, what do you say, keep it off the mustard and, and, the, the, mayonnaise. and the mayonnaise. Yep, I had to keep it in between the... And the lines and the, and the guardrail or the concrete here. Yep. So, uh, but I mean, and some of your uh, MPK friends commented on why you backed off, which is not like you. Yeah, I usually run it, but it just—I knew that transition was bad. And I knew I was around the transition, and I wanted to make sure we had a car to race next round. Yeah. I, I felt like I saw him go red, so there was no reason to get real greedy with the run. Um, after he already lost the round, I just wanted to give as much data as we could. So I did a soft pedal, it hooked back up, and made it to the finish line. Beautiful. And it was really hot today, and we're all sunburned. Now it's freezing cold. Yeah, Welcome to Melbourne. The, the bottom's dropping out right yeah. now. So we'll let you know how we go after this one. Stinky pinky, and we're out. Due to Potan's very unfortunate accident, the rest of the run for that evening had to be postponed through until the Sunday. So here we are, picking up where we left off on Sunday. Just go down. Yeah, buddy. You're about to make the last pass for Australia. For $10,000 $10, on one lap. $10,000. Yep. Are we confident about it? No. <laughs> <laughs> Me neither this time. <laughs> we're going to find out here in about four seconds. We're going to find out. So we're just waiting on Frank Marchese to get his car started. And uh, I think there's a lot of people around it. I don't hear it yet. So okay. we'll see. No problem. Over now. Yeah.
three Aussies, three Americans. What a team. What an adventure. Disco Dean's program's amazing. He's got some really good equipment, and he's got a great program and a lot of experience, and he's an amazing driver. His crew chief, Jesse Adams, he is uh, well, he's a standing crew chief when Disco's dad's away, and, and Jesse's a really clever guy. He knows tracks, he knows suspension, he knows chassis, he knows tuning. He's really, really dedicated, and, and he makes things happen, and he makes them happen fast. He's amazing. Dean's wife, Lindsay, she's phenomenal. She really does a great job looking after the promotion, the T-shirts, everything like that. And normally, they, I think they're just a little understaffed. And with the help of us three Aussies, myself and Robbie and, and Banksy, we really helped them get the results that they deserve. It's been amazing. Thank you, guys.